About a year ago, my brother got up on stage and preached at our church retreat, and he said, God is good, period. And I was like, okay. I know God is good when he blesses me financially, or he gets me a new job, or I get that parking spot when I'm running late. I know God is good then, but he said, no, regardless of all that, God is good. And I didn't quite understand that statement, and I asked God about it, and it wasn't until one week when a bank account that I thought would be generating money hit $2.00. I thought I'd be a lot further on in my career, and I wasn't. And I was praising, and I had joy, and I had peace. And in that moment is when I realized what my brother said, God is good, period. Because although my situation didn't reflect it, God was still good. Let's have a chat. Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, if you're not new, welcome to the family, where we talk about all things God, business, lifestyle, all that, that's what you see on this channel. Before we get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. They're gonna be coming out every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm getting really good at these intros, I feel like it. Anyway, let's get into the video. Like I mentioned, my brother preached a word and he said, God is good. And that's a saying that people say often when they're just like, like you get a parking spot and you're like, God is good. You get something little, you say God is good. But sometimes we say these things so often that we lose the meaning of them. And it truly wasn't until that week when like, I was like, why am I happy right now when your bank account just hit two dollars? Like, what, like, what is there, what is there to be happy about? What is there to have joy about? What is there to have peace about? And that's when I realized that no matter what life throws at me, no matter what is going on, God is good. And although these verses are a lot easier said than done, because I look back on my life and I'm thinking about the moments when, like, not to diagnose myself, but I felt like I was fighting depression, I was having suicidal thoughts, and I'm like, where are you? Like. You say you're here for me, where are you? Even in those moments, as crazy as it sounds, God was still good, which I'm just like, okay, sure, I mean, if you say so. But he really was. And one thing I realized with that statement and what makes it so true is that God is good because of the intangible things that he gives us. I feel like that's my revelation and that's my understanding of it. Peace of mind is something you cannot buy. Having joy, like internal joy, is something you cannot buy. It is just something that God blesses you with. I remember when I was going through moments of tough times when I was fighting, with, like I said, felt like depression and having like suicidal thoughts constantly, which I'm just like, why am I fighting? Like, why is this even a thing that I'm going through? Because like, I believe in God, I'm a Christian, but yet I'm having these thoughts that like are just like, I know are not of God, but I struggle with them constantly and there were even times where i felt like i was being tormented because i'm like i know scripture like i know god has good plans for you like the what is romans 8 18 like the troubles of today compares to like does not compare to the joy of tomorrow like god is not a god that he would lie no he has promises for me like you know all these risks but in those moments where it just felt like life was really like life is like taking a swing at you you know what i'm saying like it doesn't like it was so hard for me to internalize those risks because i'm just like I know what the word says, but what I'm feeling right now is n like nothing. I'm just like, I can't shake this feeling. I'm looking at the words on the pages. I'm looking at the words in the Bible and they're just words. They don't mean anything to me because I'm still fighting these battles in time. And to get out of that mindset and to understand the phrase, God is good, I prayed two prayers. Number one, I truly prayed to God. I was like, God, not to even test someone, but I was like, God, if you are who you say you are, like, I need the peace, I need the joy. I can't keep living life like this. Like, it's just not, I can't continue on like this. Cause you get to, being in that mindset is so, it's so hard. Like, I, I know it sounds crazy to say it sucks, but like, of course it sucks cause you have some suicidal of thoughts, but like, it really, really does suck. Like, like it really sucks. <laughs> like, I don't know what other way to put it down. Like, it really sucks and it's not a fun moment. Cause like, life is passing you by, you're going through it and you're just like, but like but god like what is going like but god like that's literally i remember when i went through it like earlier this year i was literally crying to my sister because i just felt like i was being tormented because i'm just like why am i feeling like this like everything in my life looked well I really looked at my life i had just moved into my suite my car was paid off like i didn't like i didn't really have any major struggles yet i was fighting these things and that's when i say the god is good because of what he gives you is intangible Regardless of all the blessings that I had, I didn't have the intangible stuff, like the joy and the peace. And that's when I had to pray the prayer to God when I was going through this. I was like, God, like, if you're real, like, I know you are real, but like, please, like, 
help me out. Like, I need your help. I have to do a full surrender to God and just be like, here you go, God. Like, I can't do this anymore. Like, take control. And that's when I understood what it meant to have peace and joy. And like, I can't even say there was like a specific moment when it happened. I just woke up one day and I was like, oh, like, I'm happy. Like, I have joy. Like, <laughs> like I was like, oh, this is what this feels like. And it was great. And I don't think I could have gotten out of that unless I surrendered to God and I let it go. So make sure when you're praying, ask God for the intangible things because although it's great to pray to ask God for the financial things, the promotion at work, relationship, I don't know what the case might be. And God is good when he blesses you with those things. Nothing can truly compare to when God blesses you with those things that like, you might get a moment of joy when you go shopping, that, but like ultimately like you can't find those intangible things than anybody else than God and that's how you know God is good. Another prayer I had to pray was to ask God to make those words real to me. When I've gone through those moments of darkness like I said all those words in the Bible all the words all the promises of God they're just words to me they didn't really click and that's when I had to ask God to make his word real to me. That's a prayer that has helped me multiple times in life. Even when people give me words of knowledge or promises, I'm like, God, make your words real soon. Help me understand what this actually means because in those moments where I'm like down and I'm like, I remember Jeremiah 29, 11, it's not clicking. They're just a bunch of words on a page because I haven't like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're just words on pages. But when I ask God to make that word real to me, like when I remember that God has good plans for me, like God is good. Like when I truly remember and like internalize that verse of God has good plans for me. I keep going back to that verse because it's honestly an anchor in my life at this moment. And another one is Numbers 23, 19 where it says, God is not a man that he will lie. Like his promises stand firm. Like God is good and like God is good. That's all I can say. God is good, period. Like, and that prayer truly changed my life because those words just stopped being words to me. All these like Romans 8, 18, 8, 20, all these words, they just stopped being words to me. I actually began to understand it and believe it that like God has good plans for me. And even though the situation might not look well right now, I know that God is good and he would do a great thing. And this then kind of goes into my next point about gratitude and how God is good. One of the main things I had to realize is that God is good and I have to be very appreciative of where I am in the moment. I remember one day when I woke up and it was one of those days where like I had to drag myself out of bed. I was like, Oof, okay, another day. I was in the bathroom, I was brushing my teeth and I remember saying, okay, one day closer to my destination. And while there's nothing wrong with having goals and like knowing that like, okay, it's another day of chasing your goals. I felt like I then tied my, um, my happiness to that moment. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with having goals, but you can't tie your happiness to a destination because I talked about this in my last video where I said that I remember wanting to hit like 5K and then I finally hit 5K and I wasn't even to be appreciative of that moment because I had tied my happiness to that destination and then the moment I even hit 5K, I didn't even appreciate it because I just thought, of, okay, 5K, now 10K. And now I'm pretty sure when 10K hits, I'm like, okay, 15K. I have to find the joy and the peace in the moment because if I get to the destination that I'm going to get to, I'm pretty sure there'll be a new struggle there. And I will find a reason to be like, Ugh, this sucks, God is this, God is that. And I remember that day after God kind of gave me that revelation of like, Kemi, you're tying your happiness to that moment. And when you get to that moment, now what? Like that's, I feel like that's literally what I understood that morning when God was talking to me, where it's just like, okay, you're like, you're tying it to that. Now what? Like now you get there. Now you're going to find another obstacle. You're going to find another thing to be like not happy about. And that's when I had to realize like, okay, God is good in this moment. Like, even though I don't understand what is going on, even though I'm not where I want to be, God is still good and God is worth it. And this is truly when gratitude comes in because, yeah, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but like, I have food on my table. I, like, I know it sounds so little and trivial, like, I have food on my table, but like, there are people that genuinely do not know where their next meal is coming from. And like, you're good. If you don't have anything, thank God, if you don't have anything, like, to thank God for, like, God is good because of that. I have a roof over my head. Like it's hot outside and I could come inside to AC. Like, like, I have a business. 
God has sustained me. I'm not struggling. My body is working. My dad always says this sometimes, and it's just like, the same oxygen that we're breathing so freely, people have to pay for. Like, I think we get so, it's so easy to just realize, it's so easy to just focus on the negative sometimes in life. And I'll always say this, when I'm making these videos, I'm talking to myself, cause like, I get so like, this hasn't happened, this hasn't happened, this hasn't happened, this hasn't happened. But like, when you truly go to a moment of gratitude, you will remember God is good because even the little things that you just overlook, like, like I get up and I don't have to use, and this is not to like, this is not to say God isn't good to people that are going through challenges or anything like that. God is still good in those situations, but like, these are things that I take for granted that I could just, I wake up and I get up and there's toothpaste and there's water running, hot water, cold water, whatever water I want, it's running. And we get so used to these things that we just forget that like not everybody has this and God is good and that's not to say God is not good to those people that are going through challenges and God is good irrespective of that like I said but it's just one of those moments of me having gratitude and realizing that God is good and the same God that brought me through the dark moments the same God that brought me through suicidal thoughts the same God that brought me through feeling unworthy uncapable all that is the same God in my life and he is good and he is taking me through this journey although I'm nowhere near where I want to be I know that God is good and I don't have to tie my happiness and my joy to that location. I can remember that like, just for the fact that I'm still alive, I'm still breathing, I'm still talking, God is good. And like, I just, God is good. <laughs> like, it just doesn't get any thing through that. And like, in that week where I talked about when bank account was low and I'm just like, I thought you were gonna be making six figures in like 30 days and bank accounts at $2. Like, I was like, okay, God, I was like, I was happy and that's when the saying of praise your way to victory comes in because like I I was, I was, I genuinely had joy and happiness that week and that was one of the best weeks of my life. Not because of what my situation was looking like, but just because God is good and he blessed me with intangible things like joy and peace and happiness and I'm just like, like I was smiling. I was like, okay, <laughs> two dollars, like, okay. Like it sounds so crazy and it almost sounds I feel like to other people it might sound a little arrogant and like numbness and I feel like this is when God it comes in and stuff like you're seeing like there are certain people that they have something about them where like you don't even know that they're Christian or they believe in God yet but like things are chaotic everybody's freaking out and they're just like they're just like chilling that's the peace of God and like I don't think anything can truly beat that and I'm smiling because like I'm smiling my cheeks are hurting but like God is really a good God. God is really a good God. God is good. And I just wanted to share this. This is not even my like regular scope of video, but I just truly really wanted to share that God is good and truly pray that prayer that like God gives you the intangible things, the fruits of the, the fruit of the spirit, the joy, the peace, the, I don't think happiness is one of them, but joy and peace, those two at least. And remember that no matter what your situation looks like, God is like. Having a gratitude list truly goes along with it because you realize how good God is. Like, not to tie to the intent, like, not to tie to the tangible things, but like, just looking at life, like, God is, like, if you just look at them, like, His creation, the mountains, the birds in the sky, like, this even ties into the whole, like, Matthew 6 34. Is it 634? Matthew? It's somewhere in Matthew 6, where it talks about if the birds in the skies don't worry, like, how much more should you work? I'm misquoting the Bible so bad right now. Oh my gosh. Bad. The verse is Matthew 6, 26, where it says, if the birds of the skies don't worry about what they're going to do, then you shouldn't either. I'm probably still misquoting. This is so bad. <laughs> Just read the Bible. Um, look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you much more valuable to him than they are? That's when I'm just, that's the verse that I was trying to quote where, like, God created the birds of the sky and they're good. Like, God is good because of that. The trees are grown. God is, like, it sounds so, like, whatever, but, like, truly don't let these verses and these words that we say lose meaning. Like, God is good. Like, I serve a good, a great God, matter of fact. Truly say them and truly pray to God to make them real to you. Truly understand the meaning of God is good in your life. If you're alive, if you're breathing, if you're still here, 
God is good. God is good in the present. He's not just good in the future. He's not just good in the past, but God is good. Ask him for the intangible things of peace. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy. I never said that because to gain certain things, like it's like when you pray for patience, you get your patience tested. That's how you build patience. But yeah, I don't even know where to end this video. And I, I feel like I just said a bunch of words, but I truly hope it helped somebody and know that like God is on your side. God is a good God. The God that feeds the birds of the sky, that takes care of the fishes in the sea. I, the God that created all the earth is your God and he's on your side. He's good. Like God is a good God and yeah. That's all I that's all that's literally all I wanted to come here and say. God is good, period. Keep that word with you and go and act like you serve a good God. Have a blessed day.